GoFa lead-through function allows you to move the cobot with two hands. There are three ways to compensate for the payload. Let's have a closer look. To change the parameters for lead-through payload compensation, you need to connect to the cobot in Robot Studio. Then go to Motion and Robot. Ensure that you have requested write access. Then select your COBA. Scroll down to the three types of lead-through compensation Default, Always and Never. Let's select Default and OK. With the default type of payload compensation selected, it allows the COBA to feel the payload for 0.5 seconds after having been enabled to set the right payload to compensate. Now, let's change the payload compensation to always. In Robot Studio, go to Motion, Robot, and select your cobot. Scroll down to lead through load compensation, select always, and OK. We confirm that the configuration parameter has been changed, which also means that you don't need to restart your system. With the always type selected, payload compensation is always enabled. The function is developed for when you have something pulling the cobot, like a welding dress pack, to avoid unwanted cobot behavior. Finally, let's change the payload compensation to never. In Robot Studio, go to Motion, Robot, and select your cobot. Scroll down to lead through load compensation, select never and OK. Again, we see that the configuration parameter has been changed, so you don't need to restart the controller. With an every type of payload compensation enabled, you need to be careful, since the cobot will just rely on the tool and the payload declared in Rapid.